thing we need to understand is that because God sits outside of the influence of time, he can stand in one spot and be he which was, which is, and which is to come. So he stands right here. He's the only somebody that can back up into your future. He can walk into your past and rectify some stuff that should happen to you. Oh, you know, you do understand that time. That sickness is genetic. Some of us are predisposed to cancer. Some of us are predisposed to diabetes. Some of us that can look at you when you're born and give you through their uh, medical breakthroughs how long you're going to live. Unless God backs up into your future and changes to some genetic imbalances. Is with me from the beginning. Before this boy was ever born, it had already been determined that this moment would happen in time. Have mercy. I'm going to stick to the script. I'm gonna. This moment would happen in time. I try to tell people, oops, is not in God's vocabulary. There is nothing that has ever taken him by surprise. Oh, I wish I had somebody here to understand that time. The worst day you've ever had was already planned. Because God had to bring some difficult obstacles for you to climb so your faith could take a quantum leap. God never calls you. I might as well preach these preachers over here. God never calls you the possible. Because you can handle possible on your own. But God calls you to impact. Which means every step of the way, you have to lean on him. Who said? This man or his parents. Neither, neither, neither said. But this day was planned that the works of God might be made manifest in him. So he walks up to the man and does something that is uh, pretty gross. <laughs> He spits on the ground and made some clay of the spittle and anointed the eyes of the blind man with clay. You can be so anointed till your spit is anointed. But I know y'all don't. <laughs> made clay watch this watch this he made clay put it on this man who he had never met before and then anointed him and told him to go wash not in Bethesda but in Siloam which being interpreted means sin. I don't know who I'm talking to. But if God sent you, help me preach this. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if God sent you, then show up, please. Then show up, please. Just show up. I don't, I don't know who I'm talking to. gets even more cruel. Jesus went to a blind man, spit on the clay, made some 
clay spittle mud, <laughs> put it on his eyes, told him to go to the pool of Siloam and wash, and you'll see. And then he walked away. today's standard. Because we would have had to have the transportation ministry Y'all just talking? 